Cats, dating coach for smart, strong, successful women, and your personal trainer for love. Welcome back to my channel, and today I want to talk about why you should break up with that guy that you don't see yourself marrying. This is not a terribly complicated thing, and yet it seems to be the most complicated thing. I have never stayed in a relationship past its expiration date, and I know I'm really unusual in that regard. My wife is a serial monogamist, right? Uh, before she met me, she was in relationships for I don't know, like 13 out of 14 years, three year relationship, one month break, three year relationship, two month break, seven year, I mean, that's the way my wife operated. It's a beautiful thing to be able to see the, the good in people and always be able to find someone. I was always on the more picky discriminating side. If I didn't see someone that I could uh, see myself marrying, I would break up with him as soon as I realized I wasn't gonna marry them. Most people are probably somewhere in between. So imagine you're dating a guy and things are good, there's no problems, there's potential, um, you've spent a lot of time, there's decent chemistry, good values. He just doesn't see you as his future wife. And I, I, I've seen this a million times on both, uh, both, both sides of the uh, gender spectrum. So guy is dating you, he kind of knows in the first couple months that you're not gonna be his wife, but He's enjoying what you have right now. In fact, he likes it a lot. He likes having a girlfriend. He likes having you as a girlfriend. He's not spending too much time thinking about how he can do better. Um, he has a companion. He's having regular sex. He enjoys your company. Uh, he doesn't think he's doing anything untoward or unfair. Right? He treats you pretty well. Right? But in the back of his head, he actually knows. And again, I know people who've done this. I know. I, mean, I don't want to throw anybody I know uh, under the bus, but I know men who've done this for five years, nine years stayed with women that in their head, they kind of knew they were never really going to marry, right? Because it was just good enough to have them as a girlfriend, but they didn't want to lock it in. They don't, didn't want to build a relationship. They didn't want to buy a house. They didn't want to have a family. It was just good for right now. The way some people see jobs, oh, this is okay for right now. So imagine you're that woman who stays with a guy, right? For one year, five years, <laughs> nine years, who in his head already knows but he's never been confronted with it because she's afraid to say anything, she's afraid to do anything, and it's good enough. As long as we don't talk about it, well, I'm still with him, it's a good relationship, he says he loves me, he treats me well, so let's just keep going. And now you're on this path of inertia where you actually don't get what you want. Most women I know would say it's terrible and horrible and selfish of a guy to stay in a relationship for even one second longer, right, when he doesn't see himself having a future with her. Let's flip that whole thing around. Have you ever done anything like that with a guy at all? You ever stay with a guy where like, he's good for now. He's Mr. Right now. I'm enjoying seeing him. It's better than nothing. I'm kind of on the rebound. It's okay. And what's happening is the more time he spends with you, often, sometimes it's just booty call, mutual using each other, but very often you have a guy who's falling in love with you, investing time, energy, money, resources, opportunity costs that he could be, could be looking for someone else, and he's spending it with you, building something that you don't even see being built. Right? It's just, just basic golden rule stuff. Or it's a role reversal. So sometimes I've, I've talked to women, these are my clients, lovely people, who think they're being kind. <sighs> he's such a nice guy. I don't want to hurt him. Right? I just... He's, I, I, it would just break his heart if I told him that I didn't see it. So it just keeps going and going and going. And the woman involved, maybe you, think you're being kind, but you're actually being cruel. As cruel as the guy who doesn't tell you the truth when his head isn't in it. So from this point forward, if you're seeing a guy and you really don't see a future, and he does, again, if you're just using each other, God bless you. But if it's a lopsided relationship, and this guy sees something with you, and he's falling in love with you, right? And you don't let him go, right? Don't do so under the guise of being kind. You just have to admit, I'm being selfish here, right? I'd rather get mine, right, and deal with the con con push off the consequences later than let this nice guy go find the woman who's going to fall in love with him. An addendum to this story. I probably should end right there, but an addendum to the story that I just thought of. This happened to me. 
who, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago. It was a lovely woman, a, a blonde woman I met off of Match.com, very bright, very good body, very educated. I, I really enjoyed dating her, but we were on slightly different wavelengths. I couldn't say what it was. I think it was a sense of humor thing, but we didn't quite click. But we dated for six weeks, and again, I was a nice guy. I was looking for love. I, th I thought she was lovely. I just, in my head, I sort of knew. And then around Thanksgiving, she lost her parents. She lost her parents, both of her parents in the past year. So it was Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving was coming up, and I, and I thought of her, I said, this is gonna be the first Thanksgiving that she's spending without her parents. So I gave her a call just to check in and say, hey, how you, how you doing today? I was just the guy she was seeing for a month. Hey, I'm sure you're thinking of your parents, how are you doing? In that moment, she fell in love with me. And I'm, again, I'm not trying to pat myself on the back. In that moment, she's like, oh wow, this is a thoughtful guy. And I saw, I, like, I felt something just click in her head say, oh, now we're not just seeing each other and having sex, now this is real. And I swear to God, it was in that very moment that I saw her change her feelings towards me from the guy I was seeing to the guy who has potential that I was like, oh man, now I'm gonna have to break up with her. It was terrible, it was terrible, but that's exactly what I did. I, I went to her house the next time I saw her and I sat her down and I said, listen, um, I think you're great. This has been a, a, a fun six weeks. I could keep it going, but you deserve a guy who's all in, I'm not gonna be all in, and, and I, I have to therefore end it. And she said, uh, you know, and I was, I was teary because I felt so bad about it, she was so great. And, and she said, um, I think I like you more now than before you told me that. <laughs> um, which again, was sort of a nice, nice reward for doing the right thing. I didn't always do the right thing when I was dating, but this is one instance in which I did. So, wrap it all up. When you find a guy who's a good guy, who's falling for you, and you really don't see a future. You don't always know if someone's gonna be a, your husband or not, but you know when he's not. When you, you know that it's a dead end, it's the right thing to do to let him go to find the right person, the same way you'd want a guy to do for you. My name's Evan Mark Katz. I am your dating coach. I thank you for being here. If you like this video, tell your friends, subscribe, Go to my website, www.evanmarkkatz.com. Give me your name and email address. I will send you free dating and relationship advice that will help you understand men and find love. Thank you so much.